Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. So in this one, we are going to look at how we can create a dirty glass for our project. Here, as you can see, this makes things look cooler and it goes with the style of such an environment. Having a clean and perfect glass maybe works for an interior design project, but for an environment like this is not a good idea at all. So here, let's see how we can set this up. There is actually a couple of ways to get the job done, but in this video, I'm going to show you a very fast and a very efficient method to achieve this. So all we need here is this dirt texture, and then we are going to add the texture to a translucent material. So here, first, let's create a material name it m underscore dirty glass and open it up first let's create a simple glass in order to do so just select your node and here change the blend mode from opaque to translucent now we have a translucent material and using this opacity value we are able to control the opacity so now here you can see that we have a material and the light goes through the material and it will replicate a glass. Of course, you can add refractions and create more complicated stuff, but in this tutorial, we want to keep everything simple. And obviously you can change the color as well and see the effect in the final result. Now let's assign this to our plane and then see how it looks so here as you can see i have a plane and now i have assigned this glass material to it let's bump up the color a little so we are able to see it better then set the opacity on 0 0.6 maybe and now as you can see we have our glass maybe if we rotate it we can see the effect of the glass material that we made all right cool now the next step is to add a dirt texture in order to grab the texture you can just simply use fab so i'm going to open up fab search for stain in material and textures and if you don't see that here just select material and textures and now as you can see there is a lot of different stains and dirt effects that we can use so let's go with this add it to our project and here it is Here is the stain material that I just downloaded and I'm going to use its texture for our purpose. Here, as you can see, the material itself is not a glass and here in the settings, we do not have access to its opacity. So it's a good idea to create our own material and just use the texture. Here, the texture has three channels and there is some info in each channel. Here, as you can see, this map has more contrast compared to this and it's a better idea to use this red channel for our goal. So here, I'm going to drag my texture, put it here and then grab the red channel and use it as my opacity now you can see we have this dirt on top of our glass material now let's see how it looks in our environment let's assign the dirty glass we made and now as you can see we have the dirt effects here 
Before we continue, I just want to mention that when you add translucent materials to your objects, you won't be able to select them easily. Here, as you can see, I'm not able to select this plane. And in order to fix that, you need to hit T on your keyboard. And now your cursor will be able to select objects that have translucent materials on top of them. All right, great. Now here, as you can see, we have the dirt effect, but it's too subtle and it's invisible from a distance. We need to bump up the contrast of the texture. So let's go to our material and here add a power node. Drag of a wire, search for power. And now using this, we are able to control the contrast. So for example, if we set it on 0.01, you can see we have a very contrasting map here. And then the result will look like this in your environment. Now all you need to do is to play with your power value and achieve the result you like. So here, as you can see, it looks very weird, but in our environment, it's actually looking good from a distance. The next thing I want to talk about is the color. So here, as you can see, the color looks too black and maybe changing it to a brownish color can make it look even better. So here, let's grab this change it to this and now as you can see we have our muddy dirty glass maybe it's a little reddish so again let's go here and Put it here like this, put this here and make it more brownish instead of reddish. Yeah, that's it. I think it's looking good and this is how we can set this up. So the rest is just your taste and your design. So feel free to experiment with different colors and different values here and even different stain textures and experiment with different designs. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.